I've been experimenting and just kind of testing some ways of measuring the torque needed to move your worm gear. Um, a lot of people doing on step are like, well, what size motor do I need? Well, how much torque do you need in order to move it? Most mounts are very, you know, this, this gives me an advantage, but most mounts are, you don't need a whole lot. As long as your system is balanced, um, you don't need a whole lot of torque. Uh, so coming up with a way just may help some people get some confidence of what have other people done? Uh, what have other exper people experienced? Um, just more knowledge. So this is very, very rough. Uh, you know, everybody when I propose this is like, well, due to friction, it's like, you know what? We just want a ballpark. We don't need to go into the minutia of astrophysics, sorry, physics, of all the flaws of this test. Um, let's just get data, um, try to make the data as consistent as possible. And it's just a reference. It's just, you know, when somebody, if somebody hooks this up to their telescope and they have to put five pounds, well, obviously something is really wrong. So just people seeing how easy a properly balanced, and this isn't even properly, this is just a roughly balanced telescope mount is, um, may give them more information to make better decisions on what motor to purchase. Um, so let's, let's not get too crazy here. Um, so what I have is I've looked up the formula to figure out the amount of torque is needed to move this lever arm down. We're going to be applying the weight 90 degrees down on top of this arm, or pulling it down. This will give us an idea of, you know, how much torque is needed. Then we can look at our next gear ratio. Uh, what I usually do, this is a CG Pro that I sell, uh, the kit, is a 12T going up to a 60T. So now we get a, a five to one reduction that's even gonna reduce this needed torque five times, it's gonna reduce it by five because we're gonna have another uh, pulley system gear ratio to even further reduce. Um, so uh, this is all just information that we're collecting. So what I did is I, I, I right now I'm a I'm little bit heavy on the weight side when I balance this telescope. Um, I 3D printed a little hook here and I am going to add weight. So with this information, we're getting close. Three, four. So let's, you know, with that information, we can now weigh these four washers. We can weigh the hook, we can weigh the arm. We can take this measurement the distance of our lever arm, and we can get a ballpark. Now, let's show this a little further. Let's, let's further unbalance. We're gonna go weight heavy on this mount, and I can, I can feel a difference here. Hopefully I have enough washers. Three, four, five, six, seven. What else gonna hang on it? Hmm. Okay, well my test kind of, you can see now We need some more washers. So let me go see if I can find some more. So I got more washers. So let's try this again. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine. I would say nine for sure would be a good number. So we take that weight, again we do our calculation and we come up with the needed torque. Um, and you can do this all day. Uh, you can take more and more data. This is not a perfect system. Uh, so you need to collect lots of data in order to be able to make a rough estimation of what motor to use. Um, but the more data you collect and the more you see other people's mounts and how they perform and compare them to your mount, the more people will understand or have, the more data we collect, I guess we'll just say, and the more people can apply that data how they want. So. Uh, I'm sure there will be lots and lots of opinions on this. This is, seems like a very touchy subject. Um, to me, this is just um, a good ballpark and just we'll throw it out there and uh, see how this can be improved. Um, and maybe it's just a matter of collecting more data. Um, but um, I'll do... Um, the calculations with the data I just collected and show examples uh, on uh, how to calculate the amount of Newton centimeters. Most motors are rated in Newton centimeters uh, for torque. So. Okay, so we've collected our data and now we need to use this formula. Torque equals radius from the axis of rotation times the force uh, times uh, sine of the angle. Uh, uh, so our force, um, the first one was 23.81 grams. The second measurement was 60 grams. Uh, that included the weight of the arm, the hook, etc. The distance from where I was hanging uh, the weights to the center of the uh, worm gear was 18.5 centimeters. Um, so first, uh, it needs the force in newtons. So to convert grams to newtons, we multiply it by 0.098. So we get 0.2773 Newtons. All right, the distance in meters, 0.185, 90 degrees, the sine of 90 is one, so it's just gonna multiply it by one. And we get 0.042 Newton meters. Now we convert Newton meters to Newton centimeters. It would be 4.205 new. Oops. Newton centimeters. Okay, so our first measurement was with the way the telescope was more in balance. We needed a force of 4.2 Newton centimeters. All right, so we the when we align or unbalanced the mount a little bit more, so it was more weight heavy. We got 0.591 Newtons. So as you see here, we are up to 
0.10 Newton meters. So convert that to Newton centimeters. Um, so would I buy a motor that only put out 10 Newton centimeters? No. You know, I, I would be what I usually put onto my CG Pro kits or, or motors that do 60 Newton centimeters of torque. Um, 2 amp Newton, you know, NEMA 17, uh, I think they're 60 some Newton centimeters. Um, now, also keep in mind these numbers. This is without the 5 to 1 gear ratio afterwards. So if we add our 12T to 60T uh, gear reduction, that ends up being 5 to 1 gear reduction. So now our 10.9 divided by 5 is like 2 dot something. Um, Oops. 10.9 divided by 5, 2.18 Newton centimeters. Like I said, would I buy a motor that will only do two Newton centimeters? No. Um, you're going to have to deal with a lot of like everybody was suggesting, uh, friction, you know, I uncertainties. So this is just, again, ballpark. So these are my numbers for that CG Pro. Uh, your numbers will be different. Uh, where we go with this, I have no idea. It's a starting point, um, but it is, a starting point. So hopefully this makes some sense. If I've made any errors, please let me know. Um, like I said, I'm only going for ballpark numbers. Um, but if there's any raw errors that I've made where I've misread something or don't understand this very well, uh, please let me know. So.